Hello Internet, today we're going to be taking a look at animated values in Unity's editors. These are tools that make it possible to animate between two different values quickly inside of an editor. So you give it a value and a target value and over a period of time it will animate from that current value to the target value. Uh, this supports floats and quaternions and things like that. So you can do rotations and uh, dynamically rotate an object over time. Uh, but it also supports things like booleans so so you can actually fade a boolean from true to false which is useful for using like a, a fade group for example um so we're just going to really quickly demo these using a boolean the same thing works for all of these um so so we're only going to cover this once but there's a, a series of different features for these um so if you want to check out each of the the animated values uh, i will post a link to the documentation in unity's docs and you can go go and figure out more about it um, but we're just going to use this project to uh, demo the animated bool. Uh, in order to do this, we need an editor window. Um, we, this is particularly useful inside of Unity's editor. Um, these values are part of the Unity editor uh, namespace. So Unity editor dot uh, animation, animated values, that's the name. Uh, so what this means, uh, the Unity editor namespace is only available inside of Unity's editor. This means that if you compile this into your game, it's not going to work. Uh, you will not get any compile errors when trying to run your game inside Unity's editor. But as soon as you try to build and publish this, these are not going to be available. So if you try to integrate this directly into your game, it's not going to work. This is specifically for using in the editor. Um, it wouldn't really be ideal anyway in a game loop. You just use update for that. This is mostly intended as uh, as a way to do like UI features, for example. That's what we're going to be using it for here. Um, so if, the way we get started is we just create an animated bool. Um, so anim bool, uh, and we'll just call this show field like that. All right, and the the uh, editor window has a few different things. I'm actually going to copy from this link editor window, ignore all of this code. We don't actually care about this. Uh, what we do care about is on enable show window and then the on GUI down below. Uh, we don't need a starter and update. So we're just going to pull these in and also incorporate void on GUI like that. And so this is how you do a basic editor window inside of Unity. Um, I don't believe these need to be public. We'll get an error if, if it doesn't work. Um, so we're just going to go forward. Uh, we also need to replace this type into, into there. Uh, and we'll just call it our animated demo. Um, so the, this, that string there is the name of the window that we're going to be opening. In this case, the window is going to be named animated demo. Uh, and then current window, we're not actually doing anything with that. I don't think we need to save this, actually. I think we can just do that. Uh, <laughs> Maybe making a bit of this up on the fly, which is maybe not the best idea, but we'll we'll work with it. Uh, let's do animated demo. Uh, this menu item is adding into Unity's top level um, menus. Um, so it gives us a way to actually access this field and, and run this function. In this case, we're going to get a window. If it doesn't exist, we're going to create it. Um, and then this would typically return it, but we don't actually need to, to use it at all. Um, typically, you would, you would grab this, store it, do, do things with it. We shouldn't need to do that. Uh, just by getting it, it should create it and enable it for us. Uh, so on enable, we're just going to say show field equals new anim field or anim bool. So the reason we're doing this here uh, is when this is enabled, we want to initialize this to some specific value. Uh, it'll be enabled when you open it or when you uh, reopen it. And so we want to reset these values each time we do that. Uh, so anibool is going to be equal to the default value. We're going to set that equal to false. And then what we're going to do is come down here into on GUI. This is what is actually going to show our GUI. Uh, so in this case, we actually want a toggle. Um, so we want show field dot target equals the editor GUI layout dot toggle. Uh, and the toggle is going to be show field dot target. So there's a bunch of different fields that are part of this show or this animated bool. Uh, there's the target value, which is the target that it's moving towards. In this case, we're setting the target to be false initially. 
and this toggle field is operating on that target. So by interacting with that, you will be toggling where the target value is. Uh, we also have a value, which is the current value of that field. Um, so if we're animated between that, it will be one for some period of time, however long the animation is, and then switch back over to, to, to false or, or zero. Uh, and then faded is actually the useful thing for us. This is the float between the two. Um, so this is actually the, the real value behind this whole thing. Uh, it's actually using a float and, and moving that float uh, linearly from zero to one. This faded value is sort of the useful part here. This actually lets us tell how far our field should be shown. So in this case, we can do uh, editor GUI layout dot begin uh, fade group. So a fade group is a special unity thing. It's an animated panel that expands and contracts in an animated fashion. So it shows a percentage between zero and one of the internal contents of it. And so by using this animated field, by doing show field dot uh, faded, we're going to get the animated version of this. Uh, if we just use the Boolean, it would just toggle on or off. Uh, we, can, we can demo that at the very end, but just to, Get it all, all, all working. We're, we're going to start this way. Uh, and then we're going to add just a really quick uh, label. This is hidden. <laughs> sure. Um, this doesn't matter. This is just going to be hidden if it's faded. Um, so in this case, it, it will be hidden by default. And we need to end this fade group. If you've never worked with Unity's editor before, this is different than Unity GUI. Uh, Unity GUI is a new thing that they've added. They're also doing some other things to incorporate Unity GUI into, or Unity UI into the editor. Uh, but that's not, that's not shipped yet, so you can't really work with that too much. Uh, this is like the legacy editor UI system. It's all based on these begins and ends and then a bunch of containers. That, that's just how this all works. Uh, but this should be enough to actually get this working. The problem is this is sort of going to work, but not really. Uh, we're hoping we don't run into my, <laughs> this project has, has gremlins. Uh, so let's open up this animated demo and this is hidden. Uh, there we go. Why right there. Okay. We're getting two things here. One, uh, this is hidden is shown even when it's not shown. Does that make sense? No, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Also, you can see it kind of like glitches there and like shows for a little bit and then doesn't. There's two things that are going on here. One, Unity caches this editor UI. It does not redraw it every single frame. Uh, typically with UI elements, that is not going to actually change. So if you look at like the code on the, on the right hand side here, that is not, that hasn't changed uh, that much. Uh, if we look at down here, the project window, that also hasn't really changed. That doesn't need to be redrawn 60 times a second or however often. It only needs to be redrawn when specific events occur that would require the UI to actually change or, or have new data. In this case, we're actually animating the thing. And that animation means that we actually need uh, to, to repaint this. Uh, repainting is Unity's term for redrawing this editor. So in order to do this, it's actually not too difficult. We can do show field dot value changed. This is an event that is actually going to trigger and redraw things. Um, so when the value change, when that faded value changes, it is going to update. So the entire transition, it will, it will be re-triggering this uh, value and you will get new updates each time. But once it actually reaches whatever the faded value is, so once it actually gets to zero, it will stop and hold at that value. Uh, and so you won't get any more triggers of this event. Uh, this is just a normal basic uh, base, base event from uh, C Sharp. So you can just attach things to this. Uh, I believe we can just pass in this value. No. Does it allow me to assign that? No. Okay, how does this work? Unity events, unity event. All right, we need to add this like this. Uh, something like that. All right, we're going to do it this way. <laughs> this is easier. And I think this should work. There we go. All right, we're going to add a listener called repaint. Uh, repaint 
is a function on this uh, this editor window. We just have this available. Um, so all we're just saying is whenever value changed would be invoked. Invoke is a uh, function on this uh, value changed dot invoke. When you run this, it's going to find every event trigger that is tied to this event and invoke that function. In this case, we're adding a listener. So when we invoke, we want to call repaint. And so that's what we're telling this to do each time this happens. We attach this on the enabled thing. Um, so this will only work for this, this editor. Uh, and that should be enough to actually get us all started. Uh, that should fix that issue. The other issue is this begin fade group actually returns a Boolean, which is whether it's shown or not shown inside. Um, it will call while it's um, collapsing. It will stop drawing the parts that exceed the height that, that it should be. But once it's completely collapsed, it won't do that calling anymore. It's expecting you to do that. Uh, so we need to add an if statement here, which is basically if it should be drawn, then draw it. Otherwise, do nothing and end the fade group. Uh, and that should fix both of our issues. We should now get a really nice collapsing grid. I'm just going to add a few more of these uh, just so it's a bigger, bigger thing to expand. We could have increased the height, but copy and pasting is faster. So there we go. Uh, and I think there we go. Uh, it's all already done. We didn't even need to do any, do any fancy things. It just works. Um, but by toggling this box, we actually changed the animated value of our, of our bool and that, that causes it to shift. Um, just as a really quick, if we just use the target, this is the same as using the Boolean to begin with. Uh, we can't do that. Oh, because it doesn't, it doesn't take a Boolean. Never mind. We're just going to go with the, go with the float. But if you, if you use the Boolean, obviously you only have two states. So, so you'll either get on or off, which means it's either going to show or not show. There's another control for that, that accepts a Boolean and will and will do that sort of showing for you. Um, you should use that if, if that's sort of the behavior you want. This is sort of a nicer animated version. Uh, you do have to handle the repaints though. So if you don't want to deal with the repaints, um, take that other option. But if you like the animation and you like how clean this is, um, this is a fun way and a, a relatively straightforward way to actually get that animated for you. Um, so you don't have to do too much. Uh, but yeah, that should be mostly it. Uh, there, like I said, there's a bunch of these. There's uh, like animated quaternion and animated vector and, and things like that. So you, you can animate different things. If you want to animate the position of your camera from one point to another, for example, this would be a way you could do that uh, if, if you had a tool that required you to do that and you needed something that would be a little bit nicer to use. This might be an option, uh, but yeah, that's 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 it for now. Um, hopefully this is useful and, and will help you when you're making your editor tools. If it is, I'd love to see what you're making. So come and share it in the comments or come into our discord and, and share it in our showcase channel. Uh, we'd love to see what everybody's working on and, and all the cool things people are making. Uh, but that's it for now. So until next time, see you internet.